now give the floor to the representative of United Nations Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. We recall that on 20th June 2007, after this agenda item was established, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon voiced disappointment at the Council's decision to single out Israel as the only specific regional item on its agenda, quote, given the range and scope of allegations of human rights violations throughout the world, end quote. We recall further that this agenda item was officially opposed by the United States, the European Union, Canada, and other democracies. In this session, once again, there are more resolutions targeting Israel than on the rest of the world combined. Each of these resolutions on Israel is one-sided, politicized, and unfair. Each turns a blind eye to Hamas and Hezbollah. Each ignores their terrorism, ignores their incitement to genocidal anti-Semitism, ignores their hatred of the West, of human rights, and of peace. Each gives a free pass to their state sponsors, Iran and Syria. Mr. President, we oppose these resolutions because they will not contribute to peace in the Middle East. They will make peace harder to achieve. We oppose the ends they seek, which is one-sided condemnation, not conciliation and compromise. We oppose the means they recommend, which contradict the principles of cooperation and dialogue. These resolutions attack the spirit of reason, moderation, and peace itself. They polarize nations, spread hostility, and exacerbate conflict. They disregard facts, morality, and truth. They inflame passions. Mr. President, this council was founded on noble principles, yet these resolutions, if and when adopted, will pervert the institution by falsifying language, falsifying concepts like human rights, self-defense, and international humanitarian law. By perpetuating the Goldstone Report, which adopts the narrative of a terrorist group, these resolutions lay the ground for even greater unfairness and injustice. They will legitimize and embolden the terrorists who threaten international peace and security and encourage them to commit further acts of armed aggression. Mr. President, all who support human rights and oppose terrorism must vote no. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your statement. I am very saddened by the remarks which have just been made in quoting Justice Goldstone's report with a terrorist group report. Despite my repeated calls for dignity and respect in this chamber, I cannot fail to notice that derogatory remarks and references are being made in connection with this item. This cannot be accepted. Everyone has a right to express his or her views about the fact-finding mission report or activity, but this should remain within the accepted framework. Tolerance and respect should be the key words of the Council work. With this in mind, I give the floor to the next speaker, and I now give